Okay, here's a really quick tutorial on how to make a topo surface in your Rhino model and how to edit it really easily. So first, let's just create a rectangle and we can type planar surface. All right, so once you have that, uh, you can turn on points on. Now you can see, you can just drag these points up. And in this case, we have a slope going down for this project start here. So what you'll notice right now we're just working with a flat plane. But let's say that we wanted to not make this a flat plane. What you can do is, and let's also select the, the points here. So what you can do here is you can rebuild the surface. So type in rebuild. And then you can choose how many UV lines you want. I'm just going to do five for right now. And you'll notice what that creates is a grid of points on your surface. So that can be really useful. Um, if I just press spacebar, I'll redo the command. You can see that, you know, if I do more, that's, that's what it looks like. So now once you have those on, you can make more micro adjustments to make this work. I do want to mention, if you press escape, you won't see the points anymore, and you have to type in points on, and select the object, and, and press space bar. Now you have the points on. And I just want to make you aware there are several other uh, commands, like solid points on, and that only will select the corner points, so you might want to go back to just doing that, depending on what you need to do. You can go back to rebuild surface here and let's do let's do an even tighter grid and then I'll select the object do points on and then make those micro adjustments So you can see that's just a really easy way to edit surfaces in Rhino. And what's cool is if you do want to turn this into topo lines, um, let's make this more dramatic in one spot to really get this point across. So let's say we need to export topo lines. In order to do that, what we can do is I like to just come into the side view and hit shaded. And now I'm going to hit escape so I don't see those points anymore and I can select my object and hit contour and then I can select anywhere I click once and then I shift and click again and you in that you're deciding the direction of what the topo lines are going to go into um, and then I'm going to do let's say we want to do two foot topo lines, so you can do two feet like that. And now you have your uh, topo lines there. Um, now, if you want to, um, and I've explained this in another video, you can use these topo lines to actually edit your surface itself. And the way that you would do this is, let's see if I can get it on the first try do here is can draw a line around here to basically your four points and if you select all those lines so now I have the topo lines and I have a boundary the boundary is very important I just tried this and it didn't work so you have to you have to make sure there's a boundary and then you type in patch sorry you have to first press record history now type patch and Preview. Now press OK. Now you'll notice what you can do is uh, we need to hide one of these surfaces. Let's hide this one. So now what the record history does is link the surface and the curve together. So for instance, I can select this circle 
And now I'm editing topo lines. That's actually editing the uh, surface. And let's select a little bunch of lines here. Now you wouldn't want to move it down because then you would be ruining the contour line, but just to kind of give you the idea, here let's actually just move it forward. You can see that a little bit more clearly. Cool. Well, I hope that was helpful. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos coming right up.